New technology is giving blind and deaf people a new way to communicate with people who don't know sign language. KXLY 4's Kalai Chok got a chance to try out the deaf-blind communicator. In a world where so many of us depend on the sights and sounds around us to get by in life, it's hard to imagine a world where you can't see and a world where you can't hear. That's the world 82-year-old Betty Palmer lives in every day. She was born deaf and went blind in her 40s. There was a lot of frustration and, and just the feeling of, I don't want to be blind, you know, but it was something I had to learn to accept. Now, Betty depends on her interpreter, Deborah Ockett, to help her communicate. Deborah spells words into Betty's hand. Betty signs back. Deborah is deaf, and for this interview, That's she depended on a hearing interpreter to relay Betty's messages to us. The relay of communication takes time and patience. But today, that changes. Betty is learning how to use the deaf-blind communicator. Can you please communicate with me using this mobile device? The Washington State Office of Deaf and Hard of Hearing helped create the new device, which joins teletypewriters with Braille display to Bluetooth technology. For me, as the interpreter, it will help in the communication process to be able to type things, especially if it's a presentation, because writing in the hand takes a long time. The DBC can be used like a telephone and also lets deaf-blind users communicate face-to-face -face and with text messages. Hello, I'm blind and I can't hear. This is called the companion, and this is what's going to allow me to talk to Betty for the first time directly without a translator. And it will give me a chance to connect with a woman who has an amazing story to share. In Spokane, I'm Kalai Chalk, KXLY4 HD News. To learn more about the device and how to get one, call the Eastern Washington Center for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. The number is 328-9220.